My name is Nick Trott, I'm a dietitian. I qualified in 1999 and at the moment I work clinically in a teaching hospital in Sheffield uh, in gastroenterology specifically and my specialism is inflammatory bowel disease, celiac disease and irritable bowel disease as well. My clinical role really is split between 70% clinical and 30% academic and I really very much see that academic side informing my clinical practice that I specialise in gastroenterology and working primarily with patients with celiac disease. The clinical work for me is why I got into the job. I am very interested in academia and uh, at the moment I'm looking to do that in other ways as well. I very much want to combine academia and the clinical side of it. The clinical side of it is essentially about people, it's essentially about interacting with people and trying to help them with nutrition through a period of illness. So I very much see my job as understanding where that person is in their clinical journey uh, and that may be as an inpatient but also maybe as an outpatient. And very much for me, that progress clinically is about a, a development of further interpersonal skills, a development of, yes, sort of clinical knowledge skills as well. But you have to be able to apply the academic clinical side in a way that's understandable to the person in front of you. And to do that takes a certain type of skill that does take time to develop, that does take, you know, uh, experience of working with people clinically. So it's those three things I see together, the science, your skills as a clinician, and the contextual framework for where that person is in terms of their illness. It is a fascinating time to be an AHP at the moment, and there are lots of opportunities. I think one thing to think about is what can we provide within the multidisciplinary team? So it's understanding sometimes the medical role or the nursing role. That's not to take away from these other clinicians, but to see how we can support them in novel, new and supportive ways. And once we've got that idea, we can take that forward and develop our practice. I never want to give up my clinical practice. It's what called me into the profession initially, is to work with people. Um, and it's very important to me that I'm able to do that research work um, to be able to do what I do with patients better. Otherwise, for me personally, it, it's less valuable. It has to provide some value to individual patients that I see. Otherwise, it's just an academic exercise.